Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix an extension cord just like this with a broken rocker switch. Whether in this case, like the bulb, well, it kind of got damaged, burned a bit out, but I've actually got a second one which is even worse, and it's this one. Okay, so basically, this here. Luckily, it was off, but the switch was kind of crooked as first, and I, I was actually like, hey, can I push it like a light more slightly or so, and then kind of shoot out? Yep. <laughs> but when I done the, at least it was unplugged, so that was a little bit crazy. Anyway, so how to fix one of those? I'm going to show it with that example. At first, I was like, how to even open this? So the things have security screws, which I actually even looked up. <laughs> even asked over on Reddit uh, where to get them. And I can tell you one thing. Um, Yes, you can get them, but then there will be the huge bummer. Those things are up to $150, like for one screwdriver. So basically, thing gets totaled off, of course, except you have like one of them lying around. But anyways, you don't even have to open it. I actually found it also in the other one. It's actually very simple to fix it. Need some prying tools. Then at least one glove. Protect your hands. Next part is a little bit tricky. You gotta get around there. You just gotta pry that thing out because like from the style, it's like here I've got a pack of new ones. A pack of new ones here. Also for other projects. So for this one. Yep. So it's basically this one. It's like a push-in, kind of like a push-in style. So if you gotta pry it like around here and there and just, just slide out. Some electronical cleaner. Could be a little bit dusty, of course. Now just try to get your prying tool between those things and pry it out. You could also also use a screwdriver, of course. Which I guess in this case would be a bit easier because that, this one is really stubborn. Oh, no. Okay, now it popped out. Use the prying tool again. But yeah, try to use the prying tool again. I've actually tested on the other one. It worked pretty good, but yeah, those here are a little bit older. It's a little bit dull. But yeah, yeah, those prying tools aren't also quite inexpensive, but hey. Use that thing so often on the project. So good. Here we are. So there we go. There's the there it is. It's out. Yeah, also I was pretty careful around there with the screwdriver, so not really damaged. But yeah, in my case, like thing was a place where the PC is and yeah got quite a little bit dusty so anyways <sighs> next step take one of the new switches of course like for everything I use like for the most important things I use like the prying tools and the switches I'm going to leave those links down in the description below, as always. So let's see, the off position is this, I guess. So yeah, basically this one is the on position. This, so basically you're gonna desolder this one. 
soldering iron, a soldering station, and solder this one in. And you're good. The only thing you gotta pay attention is about the cables. Good. This one is out. Good. This one's the old one. Time to solder in the new one. So basically, same process again. Right. Stupid cable. Okay, it looks good so far. And yeah, first one I guess turned out a bit bad. <laughs> hmm. The problem is like, it seems like on the next one I gotta cut all the heads off with the old solder because the old solder kind of, first it's sticky and second it kind of wants to go, go out. So I guess I should at least do one of them again. I guess I'm going to do that one again because of like the, might, could have the possibility to short around here. I guess on the next one I'm going to put on heat shrink too. Uh, first time I'm doing that, but I was like, hey, if we can just do that, yes. yep, it actually would fit, so. Yeah, so in the next step, I'm just taking a little bit of electrical tape and warping it around the base of the rocket switch to keep it from shorting. And in the last and almost final step, I push the rocket switch into the housing. And yep, basically it's done right now. Now it's time to test it. Part. But yeah, the soldering, about the soldering I can tell you one thing, it's going to be, well, it, cause those are quite a little bit cheaper ones, I, I don't know what type of solder it is, but I had some type of similar solder ones like in the past, like I, I don't know, it's like whether it's completely without flux or more, with a little bit more lead or so, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's a bit tricky to keep it steady and like steady and warm up for a longer time. It can be actually pretty annoying. So going to probably clean it in a moment but as first I'm going to check it test it so so yeah I'm not sure why I should do it I, I guess I let's say I better self than sorry I just use a screwdriver it works Works, see? Cool. I'm just still a little bit overly careful, but hey. <laughs> Not want to turn this into the next Electro Boom channel, but yeah. Seems like it's working. It's going to warm up around. Good, put something up to it, it's like the lamp I'm using here, which also uses some, um, it's not really a lot of amperage load, yeah, let's do that one, 
close and test it. Works. So, well, it's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to uh, still change this one out. I guess I'm going to include this uh, like afterwards, like just to show you both. And I'm going to claim both of those. Yeah, I, I'm going to put it like on a quick little time lapse as a bonus. But yeah, this is pretty pretty much it. Also, I'm trying to do the other one a little bit better, but just going to tell you um, right right out of the gate. I've read some um, reviews. Not going to call anyone out or so, but just in general, watch out with those switches and mo monitor like the devices like in general after repairing them for like quite a while let's say at, at least a couple of weeks um don't use them when you aren't like in that area or like out of the house just unplug them and be careful because sometimes like with uh, manufacturers there can be technical issues and those co can actually lead to like um problems like fire hazard and more so just letting you know about that and yeah just kind of like a disclaimer and also just be careful uh, like uh, with electrical stuff in general so anyways yep works yeah gotta turn that lamp up there on because it's a little switch there Oh yeah, also this one was actually easier because, see, it's not getting like uh, all the way in, not like the other one. Also, it's not a different brand, but yeah, different manufacturer basically, but same design. I then decided to cut off all the cables of the old switch on the second one which turned out to be a blessing and a curse at the same time. First it was much quicker but then I realized all the parts of the cables were a little bit shorter and if you cut them off be careful or they are going to be too short. I guess this is done. Two and yeah I'm, I'm going to put around some more electrical tape also. Good. Yep, this one was my my little whoopsie doodle here. Well, sometimes stuff happens, but hey, didn't didn't went through or something, so that's something too. Let's test this one here. And afterwards, I'm going to show you quickly how I clean it, and then it's that's done. Uh, what? I already see a problem. Uh, I guess I have a... Yep, I have a problem here. See it? Hope it won't spark or some crap. Yep. I guess that switch was broken. That's something, see? Stays on all the time. One second. Seems like this one is a goner. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, this one is, let's say, I guess I'm going to mark this and just use it in my workroom because this, okay, it looks bad anyways, but look. Look. It is, it is working, let's say in a funny way. Well, it seems like uh, somewhere the manufacturing process messed a little bit up, but in my case, it doesn't matter if, uh, about uh, this one. I'm only going to use it in my workroom. Anyway, it's time to clean both of them and then this one is done too. That's where the dry cloth. And then I've done the exact same cleaning process with the second extension cord. Plug it both in. Let's measure again. That's the lemon showing again. So, ah, this cable around here, around the other cable. Anyway, so. Yeah, this is the one, it's got a little bit of a lemon here. Well, the switch is a lemon. But it works. So, let's say 95% success rate on that one. But on this one here, this one here over here is One is perfect. So, oh, so that's pretty much it. All the links to the products are going to be down in the description below. Those are my Amazon Associates links. So, I'm going to get a small cut if you buy something, and I really appreciate that. And see you all next time on Random Fixes and Restorations, where I show you some other crazy project.